On November 29th, New York City fast food workers walked off the job in a one-day strike organized by New York Communities for Change. Workers complain about mistreatments, lack of benefits, and unbearably low wages. They demand a livable income and the right to unionize without company retaliation. We joined the workers as they rallied outside of McDonald's on 40th Street. One week later, on December 5th, several hundred demonstrators flocked to Times Square to show support for organizing fast food and other unskilled labor. After the rally, protesters were bussed down to Soho to picket the 6th Avenue car wash. We're here today, united, because we are faced the same challenge. How do we make our country, our economy work for working people? We want work to pay. This great country that we call the United States has not become great on its own and without assistance. This country was built on the backs of minority men and women and immigrants who have worked many hard and long hours to make this country what it is today. These are the common folk, the ones that you see day to day getting the job done. The ones that you see rendering needed assistance. The ones that you see opening doors. The ones that you see cooking the foods, washing the cars, driving the cabs, working at Walmart, working in supermarkets and so on. These are the people that enable us to live a quality of life because these people have dedicated themselves to performing a service that has made them unsung heroes because they often go unnoticed. These very same people who have helped many of us live a comfortable life are often doing it while they themselves are operating with lack, working in environments that are unsafe, working without medical benefits, working without paid days off, and supervisors that are uncaring and unconcerned of their plight. This is simply unacceptable. We need good jobs and fair wages. We're not asking for anything special. We're asking to put food on the table for our families, for our parents and grandparents. That's what this fight is all about. Let's do it together. People of all different backgrounds, unions, community leaders, people in our neighborhoods, we're all gonna come together to fight for New York that's fair and equitable for everybody. It starts tonight. Are we together? I wanna bring this message to you. We have 72,000 11.99 retirees. And we will back you, we will rally for you, whatever you need, we are going to do it. All right, this is what it is. We are here fighting for our rights. If you look around, every single building here was built Union. Yes or no? All right, brothers. We built the union. Carpenters came in. After us, painters, steam fitters, all you. 
reunion. After we left, who took care of it? 32 PJ. They're cleaning, they're porters, they're handymen. Who works around the area? Burger King, Wendy's, all the, all the affected union workers are here. Where Bloomberg wants us to build and bring all the tourism here. There are tourists here. We built this city. We want the right to earn a living. are going down to car wash in Soho that has been fighting the union and they are getting on buses on 40th Street and 7th, two blocks behind us. If you want to get on the bus and go put hundreds of people in front of this car wash, shut it down, then get on the bus. We've, uh, the RWDSU has been uh, organizing car wash workers in New York this uh, past year and over the last two months about we've organized uh, four separate locations uh, in, the, in the city. Are they all owned by John Lage? Three of the four are owned by John Lage. Uh, he's sort of the car wash kingpin in New York. He owns uh, close to a couple of dozen locations in the New York area uh, and he's probably the largest player in the car wash industry in New York City. Um, and I understand he makes you know, millions of dollars off of these car washes. And what does he pay his workers? Yeah, he, he does uh, He does quite well. You'd have to ask him how well, but I don't think anybody has to worry about how he's doing. Uh, but you do have to worry about how the workers are doing. Uh, the folks at the car washes are often paid as little as $5.50 an hour. Um, we've had reports that people do not get the overtime. People have erratic schedules. They don't know when they're going to work, if they show up for work, how many hours they'll work. Uh, and trying to live in the city under those kind of conditions is, is almost impossible. And you can imagine the hardships that people have to go through.